I mean, I guess I, I'm interested in this topic because I think I have a, a more personal insight to it. Lah, because mm-hmm. now, you know, the, the trust for mainstream media is so low now. And yeah. for good reasons, right? Because mainstream mm. media hasn't been, have, have a pretty crappy track record in the past couple of years. So yeah. every time I look at a, a topic, I the first thing I think is that, is it true? Mm. <laughs> is it true, yes. right? So then because a topic like that, I actually have, I'm on the ground, right? So I actually talk mm. to Taiwanese friends and I can testify that this this headline is somewhat true. Like, it's quite true. So mm. uh, when I talk to my Taiwanese friends, right? A, a couple of them have already asked me about linking them to Singaporean bankers. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking about like moving money out, right? Oh, okay, moving money okay. out, or, or or like how do you diversify their portfolio so that they are they are they are less uh Taiwan heavy. So so these are mm. these are friends of yours that are literally coming to you and asking, how do yeah. I? Can you link me up with someone in Singapore so that I yeah, can yeah. think about talk about moving here, lah? Uh, oh, no, no, not moving here, but how, uh, about how to move their money, money. out of Taiwan. <laughs> out of yeah, way, money out of Taiwan. Way more important. Money first, yeah, then, then, money then first, the actual and person. Then, the also, then there are also people asking me about like education in Singapore. Like, mm. How do they send their kids to Singapore to study? Um, yeah. That's factual. Um, sure. I think on the ground, the sentiment about the China and Taiwan relationship is, it is at, Internationally, it's definitely at the highest, like I would say right now, mm-hmm. right? Very high. Um, and, but in Taiwan, right, it's actually, people are actually, I wouldn't say that nervous because okay. I think they're kind of used to it already. Yeah. Right, so, in a way. Actually, so, there's, mm. there was something I, I did want to ask because mm. uh, I think there's a lot of uh, political tension in, Thai, uh, in China right now, right? Mm. Uh, with, I think uh, Xi Jinping, he got, he, basically has put himself as a, for the third term of uh, the presidency, which is shows that he's basically consolidating his power, right? Yep. Um, so there's the aspect where where it seems like he is going to quite extreme lengths to, you know, he's, he's jailing uh, business leaders. He's jail- there are celebrities who are being like mm. silenced and everything. Uh, basically, mm. in the name of, of preserving the, the status quo and the power of the of uh, within the of the party in China la. so hmm. it, it kind of have showed has shown that he that economic growth isn't his number one priority isn't their number one priority right now a lot of it is hmm. more about the power so with all this with this backdrop of of wanting to consolidate power and then you know the recent unrest and protests over their strict covid zero policy um there's been some chatter la, and and uh, this was even off a podcast from Ben Shapiro that talked about this there's chatter that taiwan will be a very good distraction right like uh the the idea of like attacking taiwan and and and, and, and taking over taiwan is a mm. could be a good distraction from all these political issues that they have in the background going on um mm. and, and we've heard that before right where politicians use uh war and conflict as a distraction from from domestic issues but you you what you're saying is that um on the ground people don't feel any more nervous now than they did before is it Hmm. So, okay, I, I need to unpack that. But yes, okay, I'll answer sure. the question first. Like, yes, I think on the ground, people are still, it's still like life as usual. Mm. No, nothing much has changed. But I can tell like at the back of their mind, they are thinking about like, what if? Like, yeah. in case. like so That's why they're asking about money. They're asking about how to migrate to Singapore. Or, you know, like they, I don't think they are taking actions right now. But I think they definitely mm. are. At the, in the back of their head, right? Like okay. having a, a, a second option. Um, I think that's the case. They also have they also have increased their NS um, mm. time frame, right? So that one is very obvious. La. So initially, okay. they have reduced it to four months. Yeah. Their NS is four months. So now they have moved it back to a year, if I'm not wrong. A year, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, a year. So compared to it's still good. La. But <laughs> but oh, for yeah, them, yeah. it's like, yeah, yeah. For their, 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 this batch now, they, they have to move back to a year. So which also means that they are that that is a very objective truth that the tension is increasing. Mm. So I, I don't think there's a question about that. Um, next, I need to unpack right this this uh idea that tension is getting higher and higher and higher. Mm-hmm. I actually feel like the recent development is the opposite. Oh really? Why yeah, not? yeah. I actually feel that. So initially, right? Okay. So first of all, I think the riots in China right now, right? It just means mm. that. 
and there's a lot of call for freedom and all that stuff, right? But yeah. mainly I feel once you are domestically, there is unrest, right? Mm. That, that will be your first priority to, to kind of make sure that people are settled, like, which is why they, mm. I suspect they ease their policies, right? Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. people are pleased and then the tension gets lower. So when you have to do that already, why would you provoke that more why would you mm. why would you want to poke the beehive some more right because I once see. you once it's about taiwan it's about democracy and and everything i was the symbol of That's taiwan true. so i think mm. that means that they at least in the short term i don't think it will mean that they, they I, I don't i don't foresee them being very aggressive like. the uh, second thing okay, which okay. i think is very important is that it, uh, taiwan just had their elections Mm. So about three, two, three weeks ago, and the Kuomintang had like a landslide victory. Mm. So Kuomintang is basically the conservative party and they are basically more pro-China relationship. I see. So yeah, so basically now the people in power, not the president, but the, the government, uh, the government in power is more pro-China relation, which means mm -hmm. they are not pro-independence, uh, which is also... Which also means that it will be more pleasing to China, I would assume. So in this two I sense, see. I would feel that, um, like yeah, I, if anything, I feel a bit more at ease at this point of time. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So that's that's, mm. that's, that's quite interesting, like, That means, uh, people are not feeling more kanchong. But then remember there was that whole mm. um, when Nancy Pelosi, the yeah. U.S. politician, was mm. like visiting, uh, made a visit to Taiwan, like without. Yeah. Without uh the 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 you know approval so to speak from the U.S. Yeah. president uh, right and then yeah. everyone was tracking where the plane was going to land in 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 Taiwan right. and like if, if China would do anything wasn't that like like wasn't that making people on the ground in Taiwan nervous? Yes and no, eh. <laughs> I mean really? I always feel like in Taiwan people are quite chill about it. Oh really? Like, yeah, I mean they they have seen this so much already, like planes flying past their. Eye. Mm -hmm. airspace and news of like China tension it's almost like every day right like I think they are sort of used to it. And, and I also feel like there's a certain aspect of foreign press drumming mm. up their headlines I feel like people want to mm. read about it and they want to think it's possible I mean it's definitely possible but, but I think it, it's a headline that sells that's why there's more headlines about it and every time uh. I read the, I, I watch or I read like western uh, press talking about yeah. this matter I just feel like they're they have a very Western perspective on the whole issue. And don't, mm. they don't really understand the way like Chinese think. Yeah. Uh, so I feel it's a bit blown out of proportion, uh, honestly mm. speaking. Mm. So, so I mean, in my back of my head, I also think it's, war is possible, but but, but it's, it's, a, it's a very low, 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 low chance of that happening, like, at least yeah. at this point in time. Mm. But besides the Western perspective, do you think yeah. uh, in general Singaporeans... You know, you know how Singaporeans we always like, wow, everywhere else in the world is so dangerous. Mm. Wow, US <laughs> high crime rate, la. Taiwan gonna get attacked by China, la. Japan, yeah. uh, you know, got wow, so many problems with COVID, all these things. Is it mm. do you think it's also partially a very Singaporean thing also? That we always feel like, wow, the world's so dangerous except in Singapore. He, this I would say it's true though. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> As it as it is true that it's true that the world outside is much more dangerous than yeah. Singapore. It is true. Uh, it is really? true. It's just, and it's not, and we are not the norm, right? Mm, mm. It's like, like when I, uh, after living here for a while, living overseas for a while, um, I realized that like the world is just uh, quite a bit more dangerous la, and you need to be mm. a bit more wary and, and have a, 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 be, a more sense of uh, urgency, emergency, rather than mm. Singapore where it's like, you can almost close your eyes and things are still gonna, just going to run properly, right? Mm. And and there's a lot of reason and I have just have to say, like, we don't take our country for granted. Like, we really are a very safe, very, very safe place with a very yeah. strong government and good for foresight. Yeah. So if we are, we are, I feel like I'm a like a rich spoiled bread being thrown into the streets. Uh. I mean, and Taiwan mm. is, is really not 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 that rough, like, honestly speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, I can already feel like, oh, I've been so pampered living in Singapore all my life. So it is it is true that we are we are very blessed and safe. Uh. 